Hello uh, YouTubers. Okay, so um, I've now got the uh, PS4 Pro um, outputting to the TV. Um, took a little bit of effort and in fact the TV sorted itself out um, by auto updating on a restart um, to a newer firmware version um, that's got better HDCP connectivity. Um, just setting up the PS4 Pro for the first time, uh, it's literally uh, taken me to the main menu. I've gone into the settings, um, scrolled through to the display settings, so just checking the output. Currently set to automatic. Uh, now I believe, and I'm going to need to look this up uh, to Google it, that for 2160p output I need to have it as RGB, uh, which is shown as unsupported and greyed out presently so not a hundred percent sure it's the case I just believe I've read or seen a video on that previously so I'm gonna literally um, do a little bit of investigation work there and then provide a further update to this video or down in the comments there will be um, some additional information from myself to show what should be correct for connecting to a, um, a 4k HDR uh, TV set um, but other than that, the video of the uh, uh, camera here that's um, sort of taking a video of the, the, the TV itself, you've got a little bit of flashing on the video there. Um, that's not happening on TV, that's just the refresh rate between the camera and the TV. It looks very vivid, I must say. Um, the screen looks pretty good. Pro possibly not as bright as I expected it to be. Um, but uh, when we come to doing some reviews of games and videos and Blu rays, etc. Uh, we should see hopefully some sort of improvement on the visuals of the, the screen itself. So thanks for watching. Um, subscribe and like if you want to, uh, to continue to follow what I upload and talk about and discuss. And uh, see you all soon.